Hey guys, coming at you with another video on this Sunday. I already had to bed, I'm quite tired, but I wanted to make a video on social media, but specifically focus it on TikTok. Because I think this is something as far as awareness that needs to be spread as far as social media on how damaging TikTok can be and that there is really, really no benefit to TikTok. Um, there is a lot of words going out right now. I've watched a few recent videos and I'll link the one that I watched earlier, but it's it's amazing to me how many people like, you know, social media is bad, but TikTok is like the, the um, I guess the, the five star general of it. It's, it's terrible. Um, starting off with obviously mental illness, um, you know, you're starting to see staggering amounts of mental uh, health issues. Obviously, there's a huge spike in um, mental illness from 2020, 2021, obviously COVID, but you also saw a massive spike in Tourette's, which is very, very bizarre. But it found out that there was a lot of teenage women that were watching Tourette's videos and actually developed Tourette's. In fact, specifically, there was one um, Tourette's activist, she was British, and she would say the word beans, but in a British accent. And all these women actually started saying beans in a British accent as one of their tics. And the list goes on as far as, you know, people developing other disorders, but that's just one of them. Um, the other thing, too, is is how much how much toxic content there is. And, and basically how it, it goes from kind of innocence to, you know, just straight up nihilism and narcissism. So you start off with some TikTok dances. That's fine, whatever, dog content, good content, whatever. But then a lot of this content that I see, at least in, in what was promoted when I briefly had TikTok, was just a bunch of girls shaking their ass. In fact, not only that, but looking like underage girls shaking their ass that are in high school, maybe even middle school. So the content that's promoted is a bunch of 13 to 18 year olds. And like, it's just absolutely disgusting. And it's constant. The other half are people promoting mental health. And there's two sides of this coin where it's glorified. This is the same thing with body positivity. This stuff is glorified. And it's, you know, people sharing with it. It's the same kind of thing that people do watching my videos, except for my videos are are anti. I'm not trying to, um, you know, uh, promote any of that. I'm not promoting any of it. It's a lifestyle that I, that no one should be a part of, you know, glorifying that and being accepting of it. No, I, I'm not accepting of mental illness. I'm not. I'm here to end that. I'm here to get people out of that. I'm here to steer people towards the right direction. TikTok is not doing that. And there's so many videos out there, not only of people that are that have mental illness that promote it, but also people that are faking it as well. In fact, there was a TikToker um, that that she, she claimed that she had Tourette's and she even went so far as to try to prove that she had Tourette's with a doctor's note but she didn't end up having it and left the platform. She influenced millions and millions of people and she was full of it the entire time. I and mean, it's just, it's absolutely awful what it could do. And, you know, it is downloaded, it was downloaded 200 million times in the US. There's probably a billion people, there's around a billion people that use the, the app. And it is really screwing up with our young generation, which is quite a few people that watch my videos. Um, I am not a proponent of social media. I use it very infrequently. I'm on Instagram a little bit, a little bit of Snapchat. I could use it less, but I would. I I briefly use TikTok for maybe like a day or so to get a certain video, and then I immediately deleted it. Um, and you know, I talked about obviously, you know, the mental health issues, Tourette's, um, and what it promotes. The, the other side, when I talk about the younger girls, you know, dancing provocatively, sexually, whatever, that in turn turns to OnlyFans. <laughs> and a lot of TikTokers started out on TikTok and now are on OnlyFans and making a ton of money because there's a ton of simps out there and it's highly lucrative. I don't necessarily blame them for getting the bag, but it is extremely, extremely nihilistic and, and, and empty. I would just say empty. Like all these sims paying all this money for these OnlyFans for these virtual girlfriend experience that are not fulfilling. They are depressing as shit and they're absolutely awful. 
then you have the the mastermind behind the company, which is the Chinese government. It's the Chinese National Party. It's it's literally of the dictatorship. And if you look at Chinese TikTok, it's completely the opposite. It's uplifting. It's motivating. It shows hardworking Chinese, both men and women, just killing it um, and being uplifting. Whereas you know you see it in the West, and it's like this nihilistic, ass shaking. Uh, mental health promoting and I'm not even saying mental like I'm saying promoting mental health like it's okay to have I have this this and this and it's like you you lose your self responsibility and self control um and it takes only 2 hours to get addicted to that that scrolling sensation you get from TikTok it's creating people that are mindless and and who is to blame they're 13 to 17 year old in fact 16% of toddlers a study came out from the UK uh, are toddlers on the app. So two to four year olds, 16%. I mean, that's absolutely awful. And the algorithm is is designed to promote this stuff. The algorithm is designed to do this because it gets clicks, it makes money, and, and, and it, it, it fulfills the Chinese agenda. And I, I, I highly encourage you if you are on TikTok to, to consider, I don't, I think, consider deleting it. I don't think any social media is beneficial. I have limited it extreme, to an extreme. I have Twitter only for business purposes. I don't follow anybody else but that. I have Instagram just, just to catch up with people. I have Snapchat because Snapchat I don't really consider social media. The one thing that I obviously have to get down is just screen time in general. I, I spend a lot of time on my phone, whether it's stocks and all that kind of stuff and videos, and I need to get off it more often. I need to work on it. But, and I'm not perfect, but the whole TikTok thing, that's one thing that I know that is just absolutely awful. It's mindless. It takes a ton of your time. And before you know it, you're addicted. And, um, you know, you're, you're, you're getting sucked into all the videos that are very, very, very toxic. I see those videos and I know it stimulates me. I know it stimulates the dopamine and it just overloads the brain that gives extreme damage to the frontal cortex, which is permanent. It is permanent damage. And, you know, I don't want to see people suffer like that. Like, that's absolutely awful. And especially our younger generation where brains are not developed and they're, they're still coming into form are, are taking massive hits. And, and they're absolutely disgusting um, what, what the agenda of the company. It is extremely evil and it is an absolute joke. And I think that it's something that really people need to get aware of. It is considered a cyber threat. The president has talked about it. Um, it is banned in several countries. Um, and it's, it's just absolutely awful. It is absolutely awful what it's turning people into. So that is my message on TikTok. I would highly consider deleting it. It is extremely, extremely. And I can go in more detail if people want me to discuss more. But um, I think that's one big culprit and a lot of people on my channel are in that age bracket. So I, that's my message to you on TikTok. Hope you guys have a great Sunday. Peace.